most people are, broadly, in favour of judicial independence. But as with many things, it's helpful to examine the argument for judicial independence from first principles. Is judicial independence desirable? Is it good? You can, I think, motivate judicial independence by appealing to one key concept, that of justice. Ever since Aristotle, people have said that justice requires that like cases be treated alike. Suppose that there are two identical cases, and in one of those cases a politician intervenes to secure their preferred outcome. In this case, intervention, or the opposite of independence, has meant that like cases are not treated alike, and that's bad for justice. And so if interventions like this are bad for justice, then a lack of intervention, or independence, might be good for justice. The implicit premise in this argument is, of course, that if you leave judges alone, they arrive at the just answer, or, and this is slightly weaker, they arrive at the right answer, or the just answer, more often than anyone else who might intervene. If you don't accept that premise, then you open the door to opposing judicial independence. Charles Gay, in a review article on judicial independence, quotes opponents of the concept as arguing, the boast of an independent judiciary is always made to deceive you. We want no part of a government independent of the people. It's this kind of argument which has historically motivated calls for judges to be elected, as they are in some US states and a small number of Swiss cantons. But even if we believe that judicial independence is good, we don't need to believe that it's an unalloyed good. There might be trade-offs between judicial independence and other good things. For example, we might value judicial independence, but also value accountability. Sometimes we'd be happy to give up a little bit of judicial independence in exchange for a big gain in accountability. Some things might promote independence, but come at too high a cost in terms of accountability. For example, whole life terms for judges are usually regarded as promoting independence but they might cause problems if judges stay on a court for longer than they can meaningfully carry out their duties. Some scholars have suggested that a number of federal judges in the United States even exhibit signs of dementia. All of this means that judicial independence, whilst ordinarily regarded as a good thing, is not good without qualification.